And what is up guys? Welcome back to the Celestial Sub for another video. Hopefully you guys are all having an awesome Wednesday. Today we have another sales video for you guys. And I gotta say, whenever I take those week long hiatuses from posting videos, the, uh, the sales videos are definitely the ones that get affected the most because we just end up further and further behind. So we probably have a good four weeks to six weeks worth of sales in this video. It's gonna be pretty long. So if you enjoy these sales videos, be sure to sit back and enjoy. All right, guys, next up, we sold one of our last few Gen 2 cars. It was a Gen 2 Realm Series Jackhammer, definitely one of my favorites from Gen 2. Absolutely love the color scheme on the Jackhammer. Total on this order was $60 even to a new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. And I think I'm down to my last one of these. And next up, we sold another lot of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards. Slowly starting to sell through these. Oh, look, and this one actually had a quick reference card in it. Look at that. Anyways, total on this order was $27 even to another return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. And then we sold a variety lot of, I think it was 16 total Excelsior's cards. It was a mint copy of Synchro, and then it was a variety lot of Hazards and Excel Chargers. We'll flip them real quick. It was, oops, spinning all over the place. It was Rock Slide, Molten River, Behemoth Mosquitoes, Proto Sharks, Lightning Barrage, Electric Fry, Stone Colossus, Mechanoid Destroyer, Nano Parasites, Big Trouble, Escher's World, Meteor Shower, Anti-Gravitation, 2D, Hydro Glide, and two copies of Sprout Road. Total in this order was $35, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold two more Loose Mint cards, which were a CM5 Powerbomb and a CM6 Jackhammer. Great looking group there. Total in this order was $25, even to another return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. The last purchase of the day was a lot of five Loose Mint cars. It was a CM6 Nitrium, a CM6 Ratified, a CM6 Blackwing Synchro, CM6 Metalloid, and a CM6, RDO6, definitely some great looking cars here like Metalloid and Synchro. Starting to run real low on loose mint cars these days. So uh, if you're missing any, be sure to get them now because not sure how much longer I'll have a bunch. So total on this order was $73 even to a new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, we had a big flurry of orders late last night. So let's flip through them real quick. First things first, it was 16 Near Mint Mint Accelerators cards, which were two copies of Night Sight, which I think I'm out of stock on now, Endure, two copies of Impervious Tires, Balance Box, Sweepers, I believe that's my last copy of Dragon Torch, then we got All or Nothing, Under the Hood, two copies of Jackhammer, Spoiler, Camo Skin, and two copies of Mega Base Box, and the same buyer also purchased a Carded Power Rage on a pretty mint blister, actually, I'm not gonna lie, it's in very, very good shape. Such a cool looking car. Anyways, total on this order was, I believe, $95 even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase, hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold six pretty rare cards to another return buyer. First up, it was my only near mint copy of the Cavern Realm that I have in stock right now. This card just sells almost as fast as I get it in. Then we sold a copy of the Cyber Grid Realm, copy of the Storm Realm, definitely a bunch of rare realms moving in here. Then we had a copy of the Fog Realm, which I'm not out of stock on, I believe, on all of these. Then we sold my last copy of Octanium. This is definitely a really hard vehicle card to find. It's right up there with Reverb and Pile Driver, in my opinion, even though it's not as flashy, but uh, definitely a super hard card to find. And then a copy of the Micro Realm to wrap it up. So definitely a lot of rare realm cards in here. Total on this order was $110, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold one of the crown jewels of the Highway 35 set. We sold the carded power pipes, and it was actually on an almost mint blister as well. I think there might've been a little bit of scuffing Maybe just here and there on the back. Overall, though, guys, this was in fantastic shape as far as the Highway 35 cars go. So total on this order was $160 even to a new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. And he said this was the last car that he needed for his full set, other than Z36, of course. So uh, congrats to that guy for finishing his set. Not an easy feat to accomplish. And next up, we sold two more lots of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards. Starting to run a little bit low on these cards now at this point, but I'm gonna keep listing these lots, try to sell through them as quickly as possible. And the same buyer also purchased lightly played copies of Strato Thruster and RDO2 version two. So great little lot of cards here. And I actually think that almost all these buyers that are purchasing trading cards today are all people who play the card game with uh, spouses, siblings, you know, so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool to see that people are still playing the card game a lot. But the total on this order was $87, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. All right, next up, we sold two more Loose Mint Accelerators cars, which were a CM6 RDO6 and my last CM5 Black Hood Riveted. Great looking group of cars there. The total on this order was $32, even to a new buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold one of the beauties. We sold the 3D foil pack fresh torqued jackhammer. What a great looking hollow. This is the one that we pulled in the last pack opening. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous card. All of these 3D foil cards are just absolutely incredible. 
So the total on this order was $270 even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of 18 Near Intimate cards. We're going to flip through them real quick. It was Rubbin is Racing, my last copy of Spoiler, Visor Mask, Hyper Baseline, Burnout, The Swamp Realm, Teleport, Asphalt Anchor, Dodging Disaster, Poly Alloy Wheels, Slalom, Shortcut, Hydro Glide, Soundproof, Simulator Run, Arrow Package, Pedal to the Metal, and Hyper Power Age, definitely one of the more rare Teku vehicles. Total on this order was $42 even to a return buyer, thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, next up, we sold a lot of eight more loose mint cars. We're going to go through them real quick. It was a CM6 Iridium, a CM6 Blackwing Synchro, a CM6 Ratified, a CM6 Nitrium, CM6 RDO6, CM6 Purple Spine Buster, CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, and a CM6 Jackhammer to wrap it up. Great looking lot of cars here. Total on this order was $92 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold a lot of four loose, lightly worn accelerators cars, which were Baseline, RDO6, Drift Tech, and Anthracite. Total on this order was $32 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold a pretty big lot of accelerators trading cards. It was 29 near intimate cards, including some rares and uncommon. So let's flip through it. It was the Ice Realm, Total Traction, Carbide, the Neon Pipeline Realm, RD10, Wall Crawl, the Swamp Realm, the Cosmic Realm, lots of Realm cards moving here, Battle Spec, the Junk Realm, Teleport, Sound Buffer, the Cliffside Realm, RDO6, the Canyon Realm, Hyper Baseline, Hyper Spectite, Vector Octanium, the Warped Realm, Wind Shark, Hyper Nightlife, Frictionless, the Water Realm, Hyper Battle Spec, Pedal to the Metal, Turn and Burn, RDO7, Magnesium, and Slip Grip. The total on this order was $100 even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another lot of seven loose, lightly worn accelerators cars. They all had minor decals, scuffs, scratches, bumps, you know, here and there. The Spine Buster had some, uh, some oily looking scuffs on it. I'm not sure why that happens to Spine Busters in particular, it seems. But uh, anyways, total on this order was $63 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys. Last night was the first night of my big end of the year accelerators trading card sale. So naturally, we sold a bunch of trading cards last night. Let's flip them real quick. First order was an order of 22 near mint to make cards to a new buyer. It was Behemoth Mosquitoes, the Chrome Realm, Traction Control, Iridium, Drift Tech, Slam Ram Hyperpod, Total Traction, RDO1, Riveted, Spike Tires, Pedal to the Metal, Rappler Claw, Ice Shrapnel, RDO8 Version 2, The Labyrinth Realm, Recover Control, Carbide, Anthracite, my last copy of Synchro, The Blizzard Realm, Red Matching, and The Canyon Realm. Total on this order was $63 even to that new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the next order was a total of 13 Nermitament cards, which were Anthracite, Jaw Jammer, All or Nothing, RDO5 version 2, Kamikaze Semis, The Wind Realm, Smooth Driving, Visor Mask, Mega Base Box, Soundproof, Pick a Line, Torqued Riveted, and Nightlife. The total on this order was $35 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold two played condition cards, which were an RDO3 and a foil RDO2 version 2 that had a bunch of scuffing on the card. Total on this order was $20 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold three more cards, which were Electric Fry, Magnetic Bounce, and my only copy of the Desert Realm that I had in stock at the moment. Such a sweet looking realm card. Total on this order was $48 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up was an order of 12 near mint cards that were all realm cards, or all but one was realm cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was the Blizzard Realm, the Warped Realm, the Monument Realm, the Canyon Realm, with the Water Realm, the Chrome Realm, the Labyrinth Realm, the Solar Realm, the Cosmic Realm, the Neon Pipeline Realm, Anti-Gravitation, and the Micro Realm. I think I have one more copy of the Micro Realm in stock right now, but the total on this order was $64 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we had a pretty massive order. It was, first, let's go through these first. It was two orders of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards. So 44 total cards that were all in played condition. And then the same buyer also purchased a bunch of used condition foil cards, which were Hyper Reverb, a foil torqued spine buster, two great looking foils, by the way, a 
a foil vector carbide and a foil shell skin card. And then the same buyer also purchased my Gen 2 Acceleron Cove Light, the one that had a really beat up blister, but such an amazing looking car model. I mean, can't get over the orange and the purple, right? But blister was pretty heavily worn, but uh, I think this was honestly the only one that's been on eBay for a while now, since the last one ended on auction a few months ago. So total on this order was $188, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, let's go through the sales from over the weekend. First things first, we sold a Highway 35 carded muscle tone. Muscle tone is definitely growing on me quite a bit. Big fan of the black decals all the way across the top of the hood. Just looks like it is smoldering. Total on this order was $64, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we had a buyer purchase another carded car. This one was my last carded Power Rage from the Acceleracer series. Total on this order was $61, even to a new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two more loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Ratified and a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech. Starting to run real low on Ratified. Still a bunch of Drift Techs in stock, though. Total on this order was $21, even to another new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. And then we had another order of Loose Mint Accelerators cars. It was not one, not two, not three, but four CM6 Jackhammers and a CM6 Blackwing Synchro. So we have an army of Jackhammers escorting the Synchro here. Total on this order was $63, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of 13 Near Mint Mint cars. Let's flip them real quick. It was Hyper Nightlife, RV10, Big Trouble, Recover Control, Total Traction, Four wheel steering, rocket socket hyperpod, meteor shower, power rage, sound buffer, traction control, RDO3, and my last copy of RDO9 that I had in stock. Total on this order was $51, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we had an order of five new Mint cards and one played condition card that were all rares. Let's flip them real quick. It was my heavily played condition copy of Acid Bath, or it might have been moderately played. I don't remember off the top of my head. One of the two. And then we sold a near mint copy of Tsunami Foil, my last copy of RDO8, my only copy of Technetium, my only copy of Cove Light, definitely some rares moving in here, and my second to last copy of Flathead Fury. All of these headed out to a return buyer. Total on this order was $122 even, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two mint foil cards, which were my last copy of the Chrome Globes foil, definitely one of the prettiest cards in the card game. And then another one of the best looking ones, which was my last copy of the Lava Realm. Great looking group of cards here. Total on this order was $65, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, we have an absolutely massive order to get today started. First things first, we sold the Gen 2 Excel Charge Series RDO8. The blister on this car was pretty beat up. It's kind of hard to see from the front, but uh, well, uh, it, it has a ton of wear on it. Just trust me, it's got lots of creases and wear around the edges, but still factory sealed and definitely probably one of the top five hardest cars to find in that Gen 2 line. So the Excel Charged RD-08 and the same buyer also purchased a sealed Cove Light car from the Silencers line. Um, definitely one of the rarer Silencers, probably up there with Technetium. I personally think Cove Light is the rarest of the Silencers cars, but that's just me. Then the same buyer also purchased a mint high voltage that is loose and gorgeous. Absolutely love the paint scheme on high voltage. And then continuing on, they also purchased five near mint cement cards, which were all in commons, which were Hyper Power Rage, Hyper Nightlife, Hyper High Voltage, Torqued Rolling Thunder, and Torqued Hollowback. And then the same buyer also purchased a moderately worn condition copy of Hyper Reverb Foil. This was the last Hyper Reverb that I had in stock. Ooh, I'm out of breath here. This is a lot to go through. And then he also purchased three lots of 22 lightly played to heavily played cards so a good 66 variety cards right here so all of this headed out to the same buyer the grand total on this order was 350 dollars even roughly so thanks for that purchase hopefully you enjoy next up we sold a lot of four loose heavily worn cars which were a synchro baseline a cm5 spine buster and a cm6 rolling thunder so definitely some fairly uncommon cars here as far as synchro baseline spine buster goes they did have a lot of wear, scuffs and scratches on them, so on and so forth. I think the decals over the back wheel well on this side were almost completely gone, but still overall in fairly good shape. So total on this order was $30, even to a new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a lot of two near mint cement cards, which were pretty rare cards. It was a copy of Dragon Torch and a copy of Hyper Power Rage, and I'm now out of stock on both of these. The total on this order was $14, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold another lot of near mint cards. It was a copy of Iridium, Wall Crawl, Turn and Burn, Hydro Glide, Anti Gravitation, Wind Shark, Teleport, and a Loose Mint CM6 Iridium. My last one of these that I had in stock as well. So 
Total on this order is $35 even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold three more loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Rolling Thunder, a CM5 Hollowback, and a CM5 Riveted. I believe I'm out of these two now again, but I think I have one more CM5 Riveted in stock. So total on this order was $43, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Great looking group of Metal Maniacs. And next up, we sold a lot of 22 lightly played to heavily played cards. Another one of these variety lots that I'm starting to run kind of low on. So uh, get them while you can if you are looking for played condition cards to play the card game with. Total on this order was $35, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another lot of four near mint to mint cards, which were the Swamp Realm, the Junk Realm, the Solar Realm, and the Cosmic Realm. Total on this order was $19, even to another new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing all these items moving in and out of my eBay Accelerator store. Starting to be kind of repetitive with some of the same items. Uh, haven't really got anything crazy in stock recently, but uh, hopefully we're going to have something pretty cool coming in before too long. So uh, just got to save up some capital to go after it. <laughs> but uh, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerator Show for more Accelerator related content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video on Friday. Peace out, guys.